Hey, what's up guys? In this video, I'm going to show you how to do a transmission fluid change on this Mercedes E-Class with a 2.2 liter diesel engine. With the T30, remove these four screws which holds this cover on. And back here, you're going to see the filling port with this special cap which you can recognize on any Mercedes cars. So just take it out, make sure that you can take it out. Then just place the car on jack stands. If you have the original jack, then take out this little plastic cover and you can insert this arm in there and you can lift it up. Down here you've got a solid point on this frame, put your jack stand or you have as well a solid point down here. So do the same on both sides. And since the transmission fluid panel is right somewhere in the middle here, it's a good idea to lift the car from the back as well if you want to get a more easy access and a lot of working space under there. Now even before considering doing this job, you have to purchase one of these dipsticks. The size of the dipstick is around 120 centimeters and it's very important to check the level of the fluid so you can know how much to add back. Now the car is lifted. So you have to consider the level of the fluid on the position you are right now. That can change a lot the result of the fluid. So keep in mind that when you check the fluid level, because it's very important to add exactly the same amount back. Okay, so I reached the limit. Doesn't go more than this. It looks like we are all the way on top here. Then you've got on one side a little bit lower level compared to the other side. On the other side, the fluid level is here, but if you twist it, the fluid level is here. And that's because the dipstick goes like that inside the fluid. So this is the level of the fluid and this is how the dipstick goes. Okay. Now, if you look under the car, you can see the transmission fluid panel, which is holded on by six T30 bolts. Also, the drain plug is a T30. So I'm going to first attempt to loosen the drain plug, which is notoriously stuck all the time because it's not open that often hopefully it will not spin around okay nice and here it comes guys okay you can see my hands are clean all right so now the panel is holded on by this bolt and this one in the corner here so I'm going to gradually open that one and the fluid will go in that direction. And hopefully we're going to have a controlled leak because there is still some fluid in the panel. There is always some extra fluid in the panel. So that's how you can prevent a mess. You can see there is still some fluid in there. Now it's time to take out the fluid filter, so expect some extra fluid to come out. Easily pry it out like that. Oi. Basically slipped from my hand, but that's fine. To not make a mess down here, I put a piece of cloth, which can take these extra drops, which comes out from the transmission brain. If the gasket looks okay, then you can reuse it, no problem. Now let's install the filter and here is the main hole and down here is the hole for the little pin from the filter. As you can see, the filter has a little pin, it has to go that way and it will click in there. Now in my situation, the surface where the gasket will sit is very clean. There are no major debris or stuff like that. There is no gasket maker which sits in there. So I'm just going to go ahead and place the panel on. Now all six bolts are on. It's time to tie them on. I removed 4.3 liters and I'm going to add 4.2 liters. And then I will check the fluid level. Also, I will start the engine, shift the gear a little bit and then check again the level and see if it's the same as it was before. So let's check the fluid level. And as you can see, it's a little bit higher than before, but that's fine because after you drive the car, the level will always go a little bit lower. And then you can add that extra little fluid, just add a little bit, not that much, because it's easier to add rather than taking out. Finally, let's add this cup, make sure that it clicks in there. Okay guys, so that was pretty much it. 
If this video was helpful, give it a thumbs up. Also check out the other videos I made about this car in the playlist down there. Also, if you want to really help me out, click that subscribe button as well. It will motivate me to make more advanced videos about how to repair the engine, the transmission on a car. So stay tuned and I will see you soon.